Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Barbecue Pork Rib Tips. Well today we're cooking up those smoky little nuggets of barbecue goodness known as rib tips. Now if you've ever eaten rib tips but not prepared them, then you may not know that it's actually a byproduct of trimming out the spare ribs, especially in the St. Louis style. So when you trim out a whole spare rib into that St. Louis style, you square everything up, you end up with this really pretty rectangle of St. Louis style ribs. But what you're left over with is a bunch of this pork meat that's absolutely delicious. And typically there's one of two things you're gonna do with that meat. You're either gonna grind it up for sausage or for ground pork, or you're gonna turn it into rib tips, which is what we are doing today. So I'm gonna throw you back to our salt and pepper pork spare ribs video so you can see how these are trimmed out. So this is the rack of spare ribs that we're working with today. This is a Creekstone Farms Duroc pork spare rib. Uh, it's got the chine bone attached here. You've got your rib tips down here, and this is also, one of the first places you're going to see uh, just a little deviation from the, the Texas style, and that's in how we're going to trim these up today. Now, I'm going to start by taking off this little bit of skirt. That's great meat that you can add into your grind for sausage. Uh, also, you could just smoke it up as a little chef snack if you want. Um, but I'll talk about here the difference in, in trimming styles. Uh, in Texas, you're going to find a bit longer rib. It's going to include most of this rib tip. Of course, you gotta take the chine bone off anyway, uh, just cause you can't really do much with that bone on there. But instead of including the rib tips uh, in the actual rib, we're gonna cut those off. So square this up St. Louis style. And we're gonna do that so that we can do a full recipe video on rib tips themselves, which you guys will see shortly. So this whole piece right here is full of these bits of cartilage. Uh, and this is the part that we actually cut up and smoke for rib tips, which is a great little snack. So here we have all of our trimmings from a couple racks of spare ribs, including the skirt steaks, which we're also gonna cook up uh, for a little tasty snack, and the end pieces that have just like one bone still attached to them, also a tasty snack. Then we have the rib tips themselves. This one, the chine bone's already been cut off of, but this one, that chine bone is still intact. So we'll go ahead and show you how to take that off. So you can just cut right alongside that chine bone, keeping that knife tight to the bone and that cartilage where it meets. There is some meat on here. So I say we go ahead and just smoke it. Um, pretty much any trimmings that I think will have some sort of tasty little nugget on them, we're gonna season them up and put them on the smoker. As for the rest of this strip of rib tips, we're just gonna kinda cut them down into little individual pieces, individual servings. You will notice that these have that cartilage running through them. Uh, and that's just a part of dealing with rib tips. The meat around them is gonna be fantastic. The cartilage, that obviously doesn't cook down, so you're just gonna discard that. So by cutting these up, not only do we get kinda like, you can snag one at a time individual servings, but we also open up a lot more room to get seasoning and smoke around each little piece. All right, so now that these are portioned out, we're gonna get them into the prep tub and season them up. Uh, we are gonna go full on like sweet and salty barbecue, um, a little bit of that KC influence today. We're gonna start with a little bit of binder uh, for which we're using the Blues Hog honey mustard. Um, that's mostly just to get the stuff to stick, but it's gonna add a little base of mustard and sweetness as well. Try and get these coated on all sides. And then I'll work them, out, work them all out into a single layer so we can season all at once, give them a flip, toss them, season some more. So you're gonna choose one or two of your favorite barbecue rubs. Uh, I like to start with something kind of sweet. Uh, we've got the Meat Church Honey Bacon Barbecue. This stuff is fantastic. Uh, great flavor, I love the honey in it. Um, it's got a nice sweet base. It's balanced with a bit of salt. Um, but I'm also going to layer on here the Yoder Smokers Pork Rub, which I like. It's a little bit saltier rub, uh, and it's got that paprika. You, you really can pick out that red color. Um, and I like a little bit of that paprika as well. So we're going to double up. Get those well coated and turn them around. We'll do the other side. 
So let's just move these around, make sure that we're coated on all sides. Just shake a little extra on if you need to, wherever you see a spot. But for the most part, these are just ready to go on the smoker. Now today we're smoking on the Yoder Smokers YS1500S pellet grill. We're running hickory pellets at 275 degrees. All right, so we're gonna load these on the grill now. We've got a round that's already been going for, oh, I don't know, about 45 minutes or so. Just getting a little head start. Um, these are going on the main cooking shelf. It really doesn't matter if it's the main shelf or the second shelf. Uh, you are gonna have a slight heat difference, but for the most part, this, this all cooks pretty evenly, especially on the far side away from the, the heat source. So we just wanna give them enough space for that smoke to get around all of the rib tips. So typically if we're cooking rib tips, that means we're also cooking ribs. So while we're in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and give my salt and pepper spare ribs a little spritz. It's up to you if you wanna spritz your rib tips. Uh, I can go either way on it, but since we're already here, we might as well. So checking on the rib tips now, these have been on for just shy of three hours. Uh, you can see some of them are starting to get tender. There's still a little bit of pole to them. So these bigger pieces especially, we wanna let them go. But if you got smaller pieces that are already that bone, see that bones, that's an end piece slipping out of there, that you can pull off. These little skirts are always the first thing to go. There's a membrane of cartilage on them, but you just eat right around that and you can see these are pulling right apart. So three hours in, we're starting to pull off some of the smaller pieces. Now if you're saucing your rib tips, you wanna do it as soon as they come off the smoker so that that sauce can really tack up to it. Today I'm using the Firebug Mild Grilling Sauce. Uh, any of your favorite barbecue sauces are gonna go great. Um, it's something with a little bit of sweetness to it probably. I just get this stuff fully coated. Check that out. It's a really nice little rib tip right there. So you can see the cartilage in the middle. You can just work your way around that and the rest of that that's all money. Yeah, baby. Barbecue rib tips. It was pretty much a free snack because you were going to buy the whole spare rib anyway. Might as well buy it untrimmed, do the trimming yourself, and then you've got snacks to come out of it. Now, the thing about your rib tips is they're going to cook faster than the ribs, that's for sure. Uh, probably a couple hours faster. So if you're planning to serve them as an appetizer with the meal, just start them later than the ribs, or you can start them with the ribs, and then you guys have stuff to snack on throughout the day while you're cooking your ribs. All right, so it's been another 30 minutes or so. Here's those chine bone that had the good meat on them. I'm glad we threw those in there because that's a good snack right there. In fact, I'll go ahead and just take that meat right off the chine bone. We can get rid of the bone. All right, as for the rest of the rib tips, these are looking really nice now. You pull on them, they just want to shred apart. That's what you're looking for. So we're gonna add these to the bowl with the rib tips we already pulled off that have been hanging out in a Cambro or a cooler to keep them warm. We'll go ahead and get those sauced as well. So we're gonna hit these with the fire bug. And I wanna over sauce them just enough to coat. So throw those on a platter, especially right before dinner served. And people are gonna be so stoked just to get a little taste. This melts in the mouth, just like a great rib does. Such wonderful flavors. But the great thing about rib tips, much like any other barbecue, is there's so many possibilities when it comes to the seasoning. I mean, you can go any direction you like, use whatever rubs you love. It's just a chance to utilize, to play around, to experiment. And I hope that you guys will do that. I hope you guys will let us know what are some of your favorite flavors? What are some of your favorite flavor profiles? Give this one a shot and let us know how you did.
Well, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.